This is the actual location. Like this is the place Jesus walked on water. I'm here live with my boy yeah, baby. Kevin McManus. What's up everybody? Just got done giving the word up in this mug. That we can get so numb to a move of God we don't even know when he walks in the building. We're a very special place. I'm letting yeah. Kevin talk about it because Kevin's much smarter than me so I need him to <laughs> yeah, say it right. and he's going to tell you a little bit about what went down right here. Awesome. Listen guys, we're the Sea of Galilee is right behind me and there were so many different miracles and different things that happened on this sea. Right over here in this direction um, is where Jesus walked on water there with Peter. You've heard that story many times. That took place there. Uh, there were many miracles on the banks of this lake, the Sea of Galilee. Here on this side is where he cast out demons of people when he headed to the boat that day after he left. Did he spend a lot of time here or did all that happen within a short period of time? Yeah, he spent a lot of time here. I and mean, this wasn't too far from Nazareth. Yeah. Um, so he could come down here from Nazareth. He preached on the shores here. Yeah. Uh, did miracles here at the Sea of Galilee. I really appreciate man, it. Hey, bro. Kevin McManus, everybody. Yeah, baby. My boy, killing come the game. On. So one of the, those stories, the only person to ever walk on water isn't just Jesus. There was one other person. Now, granted, it was thanks to Jesus, but there was another person that did that. It was Peter. So the disciples were out on the boat, and they woke up, and they looked out, and they saw Jesus walking from the shore. It could have been literally right there, walking on the water. Let me, let me give it a shot. Oh, gosh. Nope, nope, nope. That didn't work. That didn't work quickly. Peter was like the, the one who was always really excited but didn't always think things through. And he just jumped out of the boat and he started running to Jesus because he was just so excited. He started going out and he started out walking on the water, but then he started to sink. And you know why? Because he stopped focusing on Jesus. He started looking down at his situation. He started looking down at the water and he started to sink. Two people have walked on water in the history of the world, Jesus and Peter. And this is actually around the location of where Peter actually lived where his house was. This is like the central hub of a lot of Jesus' ministry. He and the disciples spent a lot of time here. It's actually kind of known as Jesus Town, where he did a lot of different miracles. Also a cool name for a city, Jesus Town. Yeah, Jesus Town. It's next to Dollywood. <laughs> Neil, I apologize for that. Please forgive me. Jesus performed a lot of miracles here in this town. One of them, uh, he raised that young girl from the dead. So they've never seen such faith uh, from her father who was praying and said, Jesus healed my kid. And Jesus didn't even have to go anywhere. He said, you don't, you're not gonna go anywhere. I was from a film, you're failing. Okay. That's the cool thing about faith is like, even in that time, he did not have to be standing in front of them for him to perform miracles. And it's the same today. He's not standing in front of us right now. Right. Whoa, He's careful. He's sick. What do we turn around and Jesus is like, what's up guys? How do we... He's like, church community, right? How could we find? <laughs> so it's not like that he, he has to be there. Even in those times, he's like, no, your faith has done it. Go yeah. home. Yeah. So good. One time Jesus cast a demon out of a man. I'm talking yeah. fishing cast. Well, I mean, I guess it was. He like yeah. cast him out of him. I guess this is, that's where that word comes from. from Jesus. Yeah, that's it. We're here with uh, with all of our, our pastors and business leaders. And Tony, uh, our guide, was he was yeah. talking about uh, tithing. And here's it's something I didn't know. He was talking about the word luck because they had a lot of games of chance that happened right here. Like he said it was a game like bingo. I don't, I don't know if it's technically like he bingo. Maybe the like, movie bingo with the dog. But he said it's games of chance. He said those are games of luck. But when it comes to tithing, that's faith. And he said that the word, the root word of luck actually in the Hebrew is Lucifer. Oh god. Games of chance. They will just be so busy sometimes. Still came down to Georgia. Hello oh, for a service deal. <laughs> not here, not not in Capernaum. No, bro. No, not in Jesus Town. You know who else uh, you know who else lived here? Uh, landlord? Pete. 
Peter. Peter's I've already house. said that. Peter actually lived where his house was. I'll say it again. You know what's lived no, here? It's fine. You know what's lived here? Peter yeah. did. Perm is a big, it's a big town. What? It was happening. Here. This battery and my weak arm well, combined. Oh, look, there's Gina. Hey, Gina. We're headed that way. They're all down there. We're leaving? Okay. Yeah, we're out. There's a cat right there, too. So Jesus was amazed when he heard this. I was going to use my audio while I was recording. And then I oh, it. okay. Sorry. Just following Tony with the Devos, like, substituting for LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs>